Hi, everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to talk more about different factoring techniques. As always, we're going to try greatest common factor first. After greatest common factor, if we have three terms, we're still going to factor by AM when the leading coefficient is equal to 1. And we're going to use AC or guess and test when the leading coefficient is greater than 1. So let's just look at a couple of examples. So we'll call today's lesson factor trinomials day two. All right, so the first example I want you to write down is this one. x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 24. So you should notice that this trinomial is a little different than the trinomial I gave you yesterday. You have a higher power than x squared. You have an x to the fourth and an x squared now. And that's okay. As long as this middle exponent is half of the original, you're good to go. So keep that in mind when going further. So we know that it's in the right structure, right? Half, this one is half of this one. We're good to go. So if we look at this scenario, right? Three, tr three terms, therefore it's a trinomial. Our leading coefficient here is one. So since our leading coefficient is one, we're definitely going to use AM. So we wanna ask ourselves the same concept that we did yesterday. What numbers add to two that multiply to negative 24? So remember, we can go to the calculator and we can go to the Y equals and we can put negative 24 divided by X and we're gonna look at the table. Remember, you can find the table by hitting second graph. And why don't you take a minute, find those values, pause the video, and then hit resume when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so you should have gotten 1 and negative 24, 2 and negative 12, 3 and negative 8, and 4 and negative 6. Now, you could have gone up in the chart if you had wanted to, because if you did, you would see that there are other values because a positive times a negative is a negative. So you also have to account for negative one and positive 24, negative two and positive 12, negative three and positive eight, and then negative four and positive six. So on this list, which pair of numbers are going to add to two? So the numbers that will add to 2, let's see on this list, are going to either be 4 and negative 6 or negative 4 and positive 6. So you can test it in the calculator if you're unsure, um, 4 plus negative 6 or negative 4 plus 6. So take a minute, try it, pause the video, and hit resume when you're ready to see which one works. All right, so it should be this one. So the only difference from factoring trinomials yesterday than today is the fact that we have this x to the fourth and this x squared, right? All we did yesterday was x squared and x. So the only difference is that we're going to still break it up the exact same way, except when we put in the first parenthesis here and here, we're going to break up this first term. So instead of x and x, since it multiplies to x to the fourth, it's actually now going to be x squared and x squared. And then the numbers are still going to be the same because we still have to break down this 24 to go down here and here. So this is how we broke down the 24. So it's just minus 4 and then plus 6. And that is how you break up the trinomial, right? Negative 4 times positive 6 multiplies to negative 24. Um, but you should recognize with these types that there might be more factoring. So I want to draw your attention to x squared minus 4. So here you should be seeing that that's actually dots. So we can break that down to x plus 2 and x minus 2. And then we also, to finalize our answer, need to bring down the x squared plus 6. So this would be our final answer. All right, let's try another example. So let's call this one example two, and we'll call this 2x to the 10th minus 5x to the 5th minus 12. 
Now, notice that the powers are getting higher. That's okay. As long as this middle exponent is half of the original exponent in standard form, you can use trinomials to solve. So let's write that down. So uh, the middle exponent must be half of the first exponent in standard form. So just to show you one more time, because this 5 is half of 10, we know that we can factor it. Just like the original example we did for problem number 1. Problem number 1 was x to the 4th plus 2x squared minus 24. That was the first example, right? Half, this middle exponent was half of the original, so that means we're allowed to factor it. But now with this problem, we have a leading coefficient of 2. And I normally am supposed to try GCF first, but I actually don't see anything that I can divide all three pieces by. So since I have this leading coefficient here, I'm going to have to use AC. So we're going to multiply the first and the last. And 2 times negative 12 is, again, negative 24. So negative 24, but this time x to the 10th. So we want to find the factors of negative 24. So we can actually use the same chart as before. So let's pause the video and copy down that same chart. All right, this is what it should look like. But we also have to keep into consideration that we're multiplying to x to the 10th this time. So what we're going to need is an x to the 5th and an x to the 5th in each one of these. Because x to the 5th times x to the 5th is x to the 10th. Remember, we keep the base and we add the powers. So I know it's annoying to write all this out but sometimes it helps. So of this list, we're looking for pairs of numbers that are going to add to this middle term of negative 5x to the fifth. So I'm just going to look at my chart real fast, and I'm thinking it's either going to be this one or this one. So again, if you're not sure, put them in the calculator and see which one works. You can't put the x's in the calculator, so you'd have to just do 3 plus negative 8 or negative 3 plus 8 and see which one works. All right, why don't you try that? Hit pause and then hit resume when you're ready for the answer. Okay, so you should be getting this one. So if you remember how AC works, is that you're going to replace this negative x to the fifth with the 3x to the fifth and negative 8x to the fifth. That's what, if you add these two together, you get this. So we're going to bring down my first term, my 2x to the tenth. And we're going to bring down my negative 12. And now what you have here is you have these 1, 2, 3, 4 terms where you're going to factor by grouping. So we are going to group the first two terms, group the second two terms, and bring down the sign in the middle. So the GCF between these first two terms is the lowest exponent, so x to the fifth. So we're going to divide out an x to the fifth from both of these. So 2 divided by 1 is just 2. x to the 5th divided by x to the 10th. x to the 10th divided by x to the 5th is x to the 5th. Subtract the powers. Here, the x to the 5ths are going to cancel, and you're just left with plus 3. Here, your GCF between negative 8 and negative 12, I'm thinking you can take out a negative 4, and you would be left with, when you divide each piece by negative 4, well, negative 8 divided by negative 4 is a positive 2, and then bring down the x to the 5th. And then we have negative 4 and negative 12. If you divide these, you should get a positive 3. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then these are my common factors. So I can bring that down as 2x to the 5th plus 3, and I'm left with x to the 5th minus 4. Now, you always want to check your final answer for dots. Um, if this was a different power, if it was even, then maybe I could do dots, but I don't see anything, so this is my final answer. All right, I just have one more example that I'd like to go through. So example number three. What if I give you 2x to the ninth minus 
6x to the fifth minus 56x. So first things first, you need to look at this trinomial and you need to see that the middle exponent is not half of the original exponent. So that means we cannot use trinomials right away. So that's a really good, I guess, observation that you want to make before you go straight into trinomials. So that tells me there's probably a GCF. So if you look closely, it looks like you can divide each of these pieces by 2x. They're all even, so they're all divisible by 2. So we take the GCF followed by an open parenthesis. 2 divided by 2 cancels. Subtract the powers, we get x to the 8th. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Subtract the powers, we get x to the 4th. 56 divided by 2 is 28, and these x's cancel. So we've successfully now have a trinomial in here where the middle power is half of the original. So since that is possible, now we can factor this inside. Lucky for us, our leading coefficient is 1. So we just need factors that add to negative 3 that multiply to negative 28. So take a minute, pause the video, try this on your own, and then hit resume for the answer. Okay, here's what you should have. All right, so the first thing I did was I found the factors of negative 28 in the calculator, and I found the pair that added to negative 3, so for negative 7. So I broke up the first parenthesis, x to the 8th, by doing x to the 4th and x to the 4th, and I broke up this negative 28 by making it 4 and negative 7. And I always bring down the GCF in the front, and then I also want to point out that this is not dots. Remember, dot stands for a difference of two squares, and this is a sum. Difference means to subtract. So this should be your final answer. All right, that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, now's a good time to jot them down. Otherwise, we'll talk to you tomorrow in class. Have a good night.